Today I'm here with Jan Davis. She's Vice President of Operations for MISMO, which is a technology organization that serves the entire industry for data standards and technology efficiencies. Welcome, Jan. Thank you, Marcia. It's great to be here. It's great to have you here. So Jan, let's get started with finding out, how did you end up in the mortgage industry? Was that your career path? It, no, I, I, I just it kind rarely of, is. I just bumped into it. Um, I went to school and studied accounting information systems and accounting. I kind of checked some boxes, went from school into KPMG, worked as, as an auditor, um, passed the CPA exam. But along the way, um, I, one of my clients was at Fannie Mae and um, ultimately I found out that they were working on this really cool data and technology opportunity and I thought, well, that's a great place to go. Um, give that a try. And um, it was a great opportunity to work in a data warehouse before there was such a thing as a data warehouse. Um, it's a great opportunity to sit in a few different seats over a number of years between the warehouse and the controllers group and master servicing, but always kind of having one foot in technology and one foot really doing a lot of work with data. Well, I just read that Accenture said 50% of women who pursue technology as a career usually exit that by the age of 35. Several years ago, I spoke at a women's tech conference and it was even higher than that and a lower percentage that left. So it seems like more and more women are exiting technology. And you saw and liked technology early on. So could you tell us what has kept you engaged when so many other women step away? So my philosophy is with, I mean, it's always been, um, I like to make sure that I'm learning new things and that I'm having fun while I'm doing it. At whatever point I find, wait a minute, I'm, you know, I'm not learning. I feel like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not learning. I'm not having some fun while I'm doing that. It's time to do something new. Well, the, the beautiful thing is I've been learning and having fun my whole career. Different opportunities have popped up along the way um, between the work at you know, lots and lots of great opportunities there at Fannie Mae. The, you know, moving from Fannie Mae to MISMO ultimately was, was very natural in, you know, continuing that effort and feeling like I'm doing something really important and contributing to the industry, helping get people into homes. You know, it's like, why am I passionate? Why do I get up every day and be excited about coming to work in the mortgage industry, being excited about coming to work at MISMO? Anything that, well, all of us working in the industry, what we're doing is we're helping to get people into homes. You know, we all have different ways that we contribute to that, but that MISMO, even, you know, working on data standards, we're getting people into homes, we're helping to improve the process, make it more efficient, improve the, you know, through our standards, help to, um, you know, improve that experience for the borrower. It, it's, it's really important work and um, very rewarding. So purpose, being challenged, continuing to learn. You, I can tell the way you light up, you really enjoy it. So um, you and I talked about something we have in common that not many people know. So um, there was an opportunity for you to become president of MISMO. And um, years ago, there was an opportunity for me to look at um, the CEO role, which I knew I didn't want because I loved the work that I was doing and I didn't think that job would be as rewarding to me, which is counterintuitive for a lot of people. They just want to go for that next title. And you and I share that because we were in the airport and um, we were traveling to an MBA event and I asked you, are you going to apply for that job? And you said, no. Tell me your reason for not applying for that job. Yes, I, 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 I said no. I, I um, you know, had to step back and kind of think a few minutes. And um, well, you can tell, as you said, you can tell I'm really passionate about the work that I do. I'm really passionate about MISMO and the mission that, that we're, you know, our mission and what we're doing. And um, I had to stop and think, well, what is it that I want? What, do, what am I like doing? Where do I feel like my strengths lie? And 
match that also up with what do I think is most important for MISMO and what are the skills and things that are necessary are especially important for someone in that role for you know being successful for the organization and you know think for me the math didn't work it's like wait a minute my skills and the things that I bring to the table I think that they can I can do more to serve MISMO do more to serve the industry and be happy myself in the role that I currently have. Passion and job satisfaction doesn't always equal a title that somebody thinks you should have. And you clearly were confident enough to know what brings you joy in your job. And um, if I had to tell any younger generation, don't always be driven by title, be driven. It does your job bring you joy? Do you enjoy doing it? Are you challenged? So, and you've risen and you are you know, very high up in the organization, you have a vice president title. What advice would you give the younger generation who's starting out in this industry for them um, to understand how to navigate if they wanted to move up in a technology role or any role to those higher ranks? Yeah, gosh, that's a great question. A uh, couple of different things. Um, make sure you're a good team player. Be a good team great player. Advice. Be ready and willing to volunteer to do the hard stuff. Folks are going to appreciate that you're willing to do that. That creates an opportunity to be noticed. Uh, no matter what, you're going to learn something. Um, I would say uh, always make sure you bring your voice to the table. That's another thing for me. I wish, I wish I'd learned that sooner. I wish I'd had some more confidence sooner. But um, gosh. Everybody has a unique set of experiences in education. Everyone's voice matters. And you know what? If you're thinking it, probably, or you, if you have a particular question, if you have a concern, probably somebody else does too. So bring it to the table and be heard. That's great advice. And for someone who has worked with you for many years and comes into the office early, like you do on so many occasions, I know how hard you work and I know how much you love the work you do. So thank you for taking time away from all that work to sit down with us today and share your insights. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I appreciate it.